Up until his death in 1999, Stanley Kubrick created some of the greatest films of all time. He was a genius in his art form, often questioned for his obscure ways, such as infamously making his actors go through hundreds of takes before he was satisfied. He also often refused to comment on the meanings of his films. However, he did opt in on talking about the connection between two of his more beloved cult classic films, Dr. Strangelove and A Clockwork Orange. A Clockwork Orange, based on the novel of the same name, follows a deranged teen who undergoes behavior modification treatment after being charged with a murder. The film focuses on how psychotic this teen, Alex, truly is, but also the reform system he's forced into. They manipulate and abuse him, going so far as to humiliate him in front of a crowd and causing him to have a painful physiological reaction to Beethoven. And they also lead to his attempted suicide. This exposes the people behind the treatment Alex underwent, but to ill effect. Dr. Strangelove, based on the 1958 novel Red Alert, follows a somewhat similar path. An Air Force general gone insane conspires that the USSR is polluting the American people's precious bodily fluids and orders his bomber wing to attack them with nuclear weapons. The rest of the US government tries to stop this from happening, but unfortunately, the general has cut off all communications with the plane. While attempting to still contact these men, the president meets with General Turgeson, a man who is sleeping with his secretary and supports the attack, the Russian ambassador, and the titular character, Dr. Strangelove, a former Nazi who has lost control over both of his legs and his right arm. The film closes with the pilot of the bomber plane riding a nuclear warhead like a bull as it falls onto Russia. When prompted about the connection between these two films, Kubrick said, The final images of Alex as the spoon-fed child of a corrupt, totalitarian society and Strangelove's rebirth after his miraculous recovery from a crippling disease seem to work well both dramatically and as expressions of an idea. This idea, as interpreted by the UK's Far Out magazine, is that these two different visions complement two sides of a painting of a dystopian organization of social structures where the concept of humanity is reduced to a cruel joke. Kubrick puts humanity's treatment of her own on full display in both of these satires. The last two lines in each of these two films contain the closest bit of a connection that I could find. In A Clockwork Orange, while sitting in his hospital bed, covered in a full-body cast, Alex utters, I was cured alright. And Dr. Strangelove leaves on Mein Fuhrer, I Can Walk, as Strangelove steps out of his wheelchair. A society that breaks down a madman into believing he is cured while doing nothing but irreparable damage to his psyche, and a reformed man who is truly cured moments before the world is destroyed in a nuclear war. Ironically, Kubrick was ahead of his time while making either of these two films as the societal conditions that he satirizes have only become more apparent. The American reform system hasn't changed for the better and we haven't become any significantly more distant from a world-ending nuclear war. In my opinion, much like Kubrick's other films, these two are some of the greatest ever made, especially in the category of satire, and they are still very watchable by today's standards. It is certainly a dream of mine to create something that comes anywhere close to the level either of these two are on. Thank you for watching.